This is Chip. Welcome to EcoVision. Oh, hi. Hi, this is Welcome Chip, your computer. I was Welcome just updating to some of Chip's files. He's got a huge Click appetite on the movie for information. You want to see. Sort of like my kid brother in ice Click cream. on a site By the to way, find out what's I'm happening Michelle. there. I help EcoVision agents like you click with investigations. Click on a site to begin an investigation. If you want to know more about a site, click on Guide. People from all over the country As an EcoVision agent, help your job is to investigate problems, problems and issues in science. Environmental problems. Click on a file like tab waste, and I'll explain how to use EcoVision files to money. organize your investigation. Problems that affect the conditions around The us. background file That's has information about the problem you are investigating. All these sites. It'll help you get started. We'd like you to pick one of them to The help question file contains questions EcoVision wants you to investigate. Most of our agents find you'll it best to investigate to one questions. question at a time. When you're through, you'll the resources file back to EcoVision. shows you where to look for we'll information. Use what you find to help people solve the problem with their The data file helps you investigate a question by making Before suggestions for data collection. Let me show you some things the here at headquarters file that helps could you help summarize you out. your findings after you've investigated a question. This is a site screen. To be promoted, you begin your you'll need to file a report See the for small each pictures question. On the right? They're called icons. Use your agent's you log to learn about to EcoVision and to record notes, data, You'll questions, and answers, everywhere. and progress reports. So click away. Use as many as you need. That's it for now. Chip will help you get around while you investigate. Nice guy, huh? Thanks for helping us out. And I'll be seeing more of you later. Good luck. You're in the Videopedia. You can go to the section you want by clicking on a book. Scroll through the terms and click on the one you want. You're in the Bioatlas. For more information about the different areas on the map, click on a box below. Scroll through the list and click on the organism you want. You've selected deciduous and mixed forests. Go to the section you want by clicking on a symbol. You've selected coastal wetlands. Go to the section you want by clicking on a symbol. That's all You've for now, selected Chip. tropical rainforests. Thanks for helping Go to the section out. you want by the clicking on a symbol. The work you're doing is really important. See you next time. You've selected the taiga. Go to the Hi. section you want Wanna by clicking on a symbol. You've selected deserts. Go to the section when you, you want by place clicking on a symbol. When you see a place this beautiful, sometimes you think, this would be a great place to live. You've selected grasslands. People are Go to the section to you want by like clicking on a symbol. Reasons. To live, You've selected to the work, tundra. or just to go relax. To the section you want by and where people on a go, development follows. Before long, there'll be more this houses, file stores, is a more people, of the background and movie. sometimes problems. You may find it convenient to sometimes to development destroys the things that made people want to live there Select in the first place. You would like to development doesn't have to then mean destruction, though. In mind we have to balance the benefits of development with the cost to nature. Using if we're careful, if we make informed be choices before we take action, we can live with chosen. nature without destroying it. To discover which resources will help in your investigation, select the question you want to site, investigate. EcoVision has been asked to Go investigate to a wetland ecosystem to find out what might happen if the land were developed. Select the question you would Isn't like to investigate. Isn't it great how when you want to get rid of a you file from your computer you memory, you just push a button and it disappears? your investigation. But it's not so easy out here. Question, sure, you can just dump trash into a can and in haul it out to the curb. But where does it go from there? Here are some suggestions for your final report. The media clip can be done on a computer. The other reports can be done on your own. Most of the things we throw away can be handled so they won't hurt the environment too much. But if we're not careful, waste can do a lot of harm to soil, air, and water. You know, we can't live without water. In fact, our bodies are about 70% water, so water pollution can be a serious problem. Sometimes it's obvious where pollution comes from, and the results are easy to see. But other times, it's not so clear. 
That's why we need you at the Wasting Away site. You'll be doing a little detective work, helping some kids in Marshall find out more about pollution in their lake. You have chosen Balancing you know? Act. Use EcoVision's files Living to help you get organized. To investigate, act. use EcoVision's resources. Right Good luck. They don't have control over their environment. Click on a so question you'd like to investigate. To the balance between our needs Click on a question to find out which resources will help you investigate. But sometimes it can be Here are some questions that might help you get as started. One of our clients, Brenda, is finding out. This background information will help with your investigation. Here are some ideas for using the resources. Brenda wrote a news story about Here are some suggestions for collecting data. She'll fill us in in a minute, but your first agent's look at some log background. has more information on preparing your report. This is a salt marsh near the little fishing town where Brenda lives. Click on a question to see suggestions for collecting data. It still looks the same as it did when data. Brenda's dad was a little boy, but some people would like to see that change. You know, I'm so sick of hearing people complain. Everyone says they want to see this little town grow. They want more jobs, more money, more everything, and then they don't want to touch the land. You know, we have got some of the most beautiful coastline in the country. There are people lining up to come here to live and to shop and to work. We don't want to destroy the marsh, but like it or not, we're going to have to develop it. But some people see development as a threat. If they think they're going to build on that marsh, they're going to have to fight me and a whole lot of people like me. Changing the marsh even a little will cut down on my catch. And that's a fact. It'll put me out of business. The only business I know. Well, there you are. Raises a lot of questions, huh? And Brenda's come to us for some answers. She's standing by in her school's newsroom. Let's go to her now. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Michelle. Our EcoVision agent is here now. Why don't you fill us in? Well, all these plans to develop the marsh have got people all fired up. It's a great story, and I got to cover it, as you know. Plus, there's a statewide contest for student reporters. The best story gets published, and the winner gets a free shopping spree at the mall. I really want to win. I read your story. Sounds pretty good to me. Mr. Henderson, he's our advisor, thinks so too, but he says I need more facts. Well, what kind of facts? Well, for instance, how does developing the marsh ruin this whole area? And how is it going to affect the fisherman's catch? Mr. Henderson says, show me some proof. Well, our agent is all set to work on it. We'll get back to you soon. Thanks a lot, Michelle. Okay, you have your assignment. Stay tuned and Chip will get you started on your investigation. What are these experts Click saying the that experts can help you answer you questions? What are these experts saying about this site that can help you answer questions? This is an example of a site screen. Select the file tabs above or the icons to the right to learn more about what they are. The background file Swamps, explains the problem you've bugs. been asked to investigate. Marshes. They the aren't quite land, file contains but they questions aren't all water you can investigate. either. Investigate. We you call them wetlands. One question or all of them. And the organisms that live in these ecosystems have to the adapt to unusual shows conditions. Where to look for information to help answer this a question is a you salt selected. marsh. The kind of wetland you the find in coastal areas that doesn't receive the full force of waves. Ways to collect data. Sort of little coastal the pockets. File helps you summarize My your research team wants to find out more about the physical environment and the kind of this organisms that live here. Icon. The we also want to find out how salt marshes important are important to people, the at the site. like the people who work in the seafood this industry the nearby, icon. or people the who come from miles around for fishing, to help bird watching, questions. or relaxing in a beautiful place. This is the, reference icon. the thing is, Here you can the more we learn, the more questions we have. Your investigation. Fascinating. This is Simply the background movie icon. Background movies give information about the situation at the site. This is a hot spot. By selecting a hot spot, Imagine you can learn living more someplace about the site. where one day the temperature is in the 80s, Here you and the can next find day it's in the 30s, information about the or program. where one day it's as humid as the rainforest, From and the next it's as dry as the you desert. Can select ones that will it would assist probably you with throw you off balance a little, huh? 
I know it would this be. allows you to leave the so program. So I can appreciate what the organisms living in the this marsh must go through. This takes you to the Videopedia. See, Here water conditions in the marsh are extremely are variable. Unfamiliar. Maybe not as drastic as this my example. This takes you to the main menu But because screen. it's located on From an estuary, the, main menu, you can get the marsh is influenced by whatever happens upstream in the river, as well as whatever this happens downstream the in the bay. On and off. And what happens on land nearby affects the water in the marsh, too. With this Conditions tool, like salinity, change, water temperature, and levels. And add These things cards to your change media all the time. This turns the grabber on and off. A check mark shows that the grabber Marvelous. is on. The grabber allows Marvelous. you to create your own media clip That's from beautiful. stills or video segments. That's plankton. This is EcoVision's uh, main menu icon. Floating plants or animals, from the main too menu, small for the eye to see. Training, or go to the site to These begin samples your come from the salt marsh. A microbiologist this could is the spend a lifetime icon. there. The water databases there is like show you how things uh, vary through time a living or in different places. Come on, I'll show you. Use databases to help with your research. This saves your data. You Lots can use of organisms save out to here depend on this plankton soup for food. And the marsh mud selecting an icon, is then choosing with open plants and is the same as double Just clicking this, on an icon. It. Bacteria and fungi in the mud recycle this nutrients a new from file. detritus. Back to the you ecosystem. can use new to create files to save your data when doing research. It's the things we can't see, the microbes, which are absolutely vital to what we can see, this salt marsh. Now I got him. A pretty cagey son of a gun, but he couldn't outsmart me. Now, now you just settle down in there, little fella. I'm just going to look you over once or twice and then... Throw you back in. He's a beauty, isn't he? Ha. Yeah, this salt marsh is full of little animals. Besides crabs, we got snails and oysters and worms. And the variety of species of fish is remarkable, especially the young fish. Sure does keep me busy. The salt marsh is a complicated place. Lush grass meadows, rich mud flats, oyster reefs, tidal creeks. Each habitat is a home to the hundreds of organisms who spend part or all of their lives here. That means that, like you and me, they depend on their home for food, for shelter, for space to live and reproduce. Our hardest job is finding out how the organisms in a marsh are linked and how they depend on the marsh for their survival. How have these Heron physical marsh factors is a type changed of coastal at Heron Wetland known as a salt marsh? This database was created by researchers who measured physical conditions at a site near the marsh over a one-year period. Water temperature is a measure of how hot or cold water is. Salinity is a measure of the amount of salt in water. Turbidity is a measure of how clear water is. Dissolved oxygen is a measure of the amount of oxygen in water. Nitrate levels in water tell how much of the dissolved nutrient nitrogen is present. Rainfall is a measure of the rain in an area over a certain period of time. River flow is a measure of how much water passes by a particular point during a certain time period. Begin your research Click on the Heron Marsh Food to begin your here. research. Brenda Use the special menu to, to assist you in your research. She quotes an environmentalist who Use claims add or delete that development to build in the your salt food marsh will disrupt Choose a very from the list of organisms provided. Here's how you can help Brenda. You can build a food web Researchers here. at the Aquatic Choose from Research the list Center of organisms have been working provided. on a computer model. They Click think on an that organism the model will help it. them understand Click how salt marsh organisms or depend to on simulate one a change in population size. You can use Click this model on another to create organism a food web and a salt marsh and get some of the facts that Brenda needs. How do physical Click factors on an activity at Heron to Marsh create food compare webs to other places? Make predictions? Help how is do these places compare to one another? What can you say Heron about the marsh importance is of a type marsh. of coastal wetland known as a salt marsh? EcoVision is working with this researchers is a grass meadow at the habitat Resource in Heron Center marsh. on a computer model of a salt marsh. This you is a tidal creek habitat in Heron Marsh. To understand the Heron Marsh food web, this is an oyster reef Build habitat web in Heron Marsh. By selecting an organism and then selecting add from this the options menu. This is a mudflat habitat in Heron Marsh. 
In a food web, energy flows from the organism eaten to the organism that eats it. To link your food web, first select the organism to be eaten, then select link from the options menu. The next step is to select the organism that you think will eat the first and select link again. See the effects of increasing or decreasing the population size of the organisms in your food web by selecting an organism Buck and then Cove selecting is a quiet fishing community bordered by a salt menu. marsh. Salt Air Villas is a housing development built on land that was once a salt marsh. Why are this wetlands type of important? coastal wetland is a what salt marsh? What can you marsh? find out about wetlands where you live? This type of to coastal wetland wetlands guide is a mangrove use swamp. the special menu. Freshwater wetlands like this marsh are often found near rivers and streams. Freshwater wetlands like this marsh are often found near ponds and lakes. This type of freshwater wetland is known as a bog. The waterlogged soil of a bog is covered by grasses, shrubs, and trees. These freshwater wetlands are called wet meadows. Wet meadows have waterlogged soils that are usually covered by grasses. This type of freshwater wetland is a prairie pothole. Prairie potholes are found in grassland areas in the United States. This type of freshwater wetland is a forested swamp. Shrubs and trees grow in these wetlands. You have chosen Wasting Away. Oh, hi. Use EcoVision's files to help you get assignment. organized. It's a to dirty investigate, job, but someone's use EcoVision's resources. Good luck. No, really. Waste disposal is Click a on a question business. you'd like to investigate. It sure is for some kids in Marshall. Let Click me show on you a why. question to find out which resources will help you investigate. Lately, Here are some questions that might help you get right started. Veronica Lake. This background After school, information will help the kids with your in Marshall investigation. head for the lake. It's their favorite place to cool off. Here are some ideas for using the resources. But the last time her friends were there. Here are some suggestions for collecting data. Your agent's log has Professor more information Chan, on preparing your a report. A biologist at the local university told Click them on that a question fish kills to see usually mean a lake is polluted. Data. He thinks the pollution this is caused by houses around the lake. This background file is a written summary of the background movie. You may find it convenient to refer to during your investigation. But the problem goes deeper. It's not just Select swimming. Select a question you the would lake, like to investigate. The lake, along with the groundwater then that feeds that into the lake, in mind is Marshall's only water supply. If the town doesn't stop pollution soon, Using these the water won't be safe to drink. You will be able to Let's focus go to your Sue now and find out how EcoVision can chosen. help. To discover which resources Hi, will Sue. help in your investigation, I've got our agent here now. Select a question you Any want to investigate. Any idea what's causing the pollution? Go well, to we're these not sure, but Professor Chan thinks it might be caused by people living around the lake, so we made it into a class project. Select we found out different things like that might lead us to the source of the pollution. Ms. Novak divided this up into four teams, and we're supposed to find out more. So what are the main suspects? To help you well, with your investigation Eric's team's investigating litter, and Dave's team is looking into algae. It's all over the water. We're also checking out the filmy stuff on top of the water. Filmy stuff? Yeah, we've noticed the Wellie film and other stuff on the, the water, too. Can be that can't do any good. And my team's finding out about the mud clouding up the water. We've got to work fast, because if the pollution doesn't stop, Marshall's drinking water could have some serious problems. Hey, can you help us out, Michelle? That's what we're here for. Hang in there, Sue. You ready? Your assignment is to help Sue and her friends find out why Veronica Lake is polluted, what will happen if it's not cleaned up, and how the people in Marshall can help. Chip will help you out. Good luck. What are these experts saying about problem, this site Veronica that can help Lake? you answer questions? Well, that could be something I need to look into. You see, if solid Click waste on the expert you want. Properly, they could end up in water supply. And me? I'm in charge of solid waste disposal here in Marshall. Come on. Let's take a look. Look at this garbage. Bottles. Paper. Plastic. It's bad enough that it ruins the beauty of the lake, but litter can also affect the lives of the plants and animals here, even kill them. Another problem is hazardous waste. Most people don't realize that the things we use every day can pose a real danger to the environment. 
and threaten human health and safety. Garden supplies, household products, paint, just to name a few. They can get into our water supplies if they're used or dumped carelessly. You know, here in Marshall, we have the technology to dispose of waste properly. This sanitary landfill can handle ordinary waste, and we recycle what we can. We also have a place to treat hazardous waste. But it takes more than technology. It takes people who understand and care. I'm proud of the job that I do, but I'm only one person. To keep Marshall's environment clean, we need the help of everyone who lives here. The water table in this area rises and falls during the year. When there's a lot of rain, there's a lot of water. But during the dry months, the amount of water decreases. That's when the folks here in Marshall and other nearby towns depend on the staff here at water management. We're successful in making sure that everyone has enough good water whenever they need it. Nature has its own water management system, one that we all depend on. When the earth warms up, water evaporates from the surface, whether from the soil or a body of water like Veronica Lake. It rises high into the atmosphere. When the air cools, the water condenses into clouds. Cloud droplets come together to form bigger drops. Eventually, these fall to the ground as precipitation, like rain or snow. Now it's part of the earth's water system again. That's where we get our water, from surface water in lakes, rivers, and streams, or from groundwater after it filters through the soil. It's like a giant plumbing system, really, with every pipe connected to every other pipe. It's been doing just fine for billions of years, but we just can't afford to take it for granted. Pollution anywhere along the way can affect the entire system. That's why we have to be careful about putting the wrong thing into the pipes. According to these reports, each person in this town uses up to 200 gallons of water a day. So you can see why protecting our water supply is a big priority in this job. All water contains bacteria, sediment, and other matter. But when those things rise above an acceptable level, we've got a pollution problem, like the one at Veronica Lake. We've done a lot to stop point source pollution. That's when pollutants are coming from a single point or entering the water supply at just one place. Point source pollution is easy to spot. Well, like those factories at Lake Marshall, we stop them from dumping directly into the water system. Now, Veronica Lake, that's another story. You see, the problem there isn't coming from a single obvious point. No, this is what we call non-point source pollution. I tell you what, you want to find out about water pollution? Start with the land and how we're using it. Check out construction sites and erosion areas, landfills and open dumps, the location of septic tanks. What about the pesticides and fertilizers people are putting in their gardens? And what are they putting down their drains? Look into those things. I bet you'll find some answers. Veronica Lake is located near the town of Marshall. The lake is How an important might source of lake drinking be water for the people what in the goes town. On above and below the this surface database of the ground. was created by researchers who have been checking How water, has water quality, quality at the lake at for several lake years. Changed over the years. Turbidity is a measure of how clear water is. The amount of coliform bacteria in a body of water tells how much human and animal wastes are present. Dissolved oxygen Begin is a measure of the amount of oxygen in water. Lake here. Use the options Hardness menu to see is a measure of the amount of dissolved minerals in water. Niches of organisms that live in or near the lake. pH Add levels are a measure of water's acidity. Trace their flows and learn about their effects Nitrate on organisms Nitrate levels in water, water quality. tell how much of the dissolved nutrient nitrogen is present. 
phosphate levels in water tell how much of the dissolved nutrient phosphorus is present. Oil concentrations in water tell how much oil is present. 2,4-D levels in water tell how much of the pesticide 2,4-D is present. Levels of lead in water tell how much of the heavy metal lead is present. Begin Click your research on, on pollutants to begin at your research. Lake here. You've heard the Move saying, the marker out of to trace sight, this out of pollutant mind? through the environment. Well, some people in the Marshall Set are learning the conditions of exposure to see to this pollutant's phrase. effects. At least, not when it comes to pollution. Use the household when waste Susan catalog was doing research to help answer Susan's project. questions. She got Type your answers in the space watch, provided. A group active in protecting Marshall's water resources. What are the water resources? quality conditions at places around Veronica Lake? The group Lake? told her water is full of invisible, potentially harmful substances. What does this show you substances? about the relationship between water Even and people at Veronica like minerals Lake? Even and nutrients can Why might can cause water quality differ among sites? Too high or too low. You're Susan in the household wants to learn more catalog. about these invisible Click water on a category enemies. of waste and what for more people information. Can do to keep conditions at Veronica How can Lake household wastes contribute to water you pollution? Can help. What can people do to control the harmful effects of Rustic household Canyon wastes on is the a rural area across the lake from Marshall? Use EcoVision's resources and to houses simulating are being built that the investigate area. water pollution. Help is Live available for raised here at the Circle M Ranch are sold at auction in Marshall every year. Braddock Farm is one of several small farms near Marshall. People come here to Veronica Lake Park to picnic, swim, fish, and boat. Municipal wastes from the town of Marshall are collected and brought here to the Marshall Sanitary Landfill. A lot of businesses are located here in downtown Marshall, and the people who live around Veronica Lake come here for goods and services. Susan's class found a lot of litter here along the west shore of Veronica Lake. Susan's class discovered a lot of algae and dead fish in the water here on the south shore of Veronica Lake. Here along the north shore of Veronica Lake, Susan's class noticed a shiny film on the water surface. Susan's class saw sediment clouding the water here along the east shore of Veronica Lake. Green Earth Recycling Center is located near Marshall. People can bring their recyclable resources here. Wastewater from homes and storm sewers is routed here to the Marshall Wastewater Treatment Plant. Treated water is then released into Veronica Lake. This is the regional hazardous waste facility where people bring wastes that need special handling. From here, they are transported to a hazardous waste disposal site. 